happens if you wake up in the morning and you understand the state of the world as it is right now? What could that data enable? How could people make smarter decisions? How could, for example, a farmer get better yield on his or her crops? How could somebody help disaster response? How can we use satellites to help humanity? That, in many ways, was the underlying thesis of doing Planet Labs, was to get data into the hands of people that could enable us to make smarter responses to that. Planet Labs set out with the mission to photograph the entire Earth every day. And they thought, how are we going to do this? They said, let's build our own satellite. Commercial imaging satellites, they're, they're very large. They are very expensive. We took a different approach. By making them really small, we can launch lots of them. And by launching lots of them, we can cover this, to get to this mission of imaging the whole Earth every day. If we can do that, then we can literally change the way that we see the world. And they called it the dove. It's about the size of a loaf of bread. Our doves um, are basically mainly a big camera with a telescope looking down um, to take pictures of the Earth. We initially developed the first Dove satellite in our garage. So we kept on iterating the Dove design, we made it better and better, and eventually we put our first one into space. We had no idea what the quality would be like. I mean, we didn't know if it was going to work. But we got an image down and it was so beautiful um, that we, we, we knew at that point we could make this technology work. Wow, we can really do this, and we can achieve this mission, which is something that is really needed for us to understand global change. So we had done a couple of demonstration satellites, but the next steps we wanted to do was to scale it up to test the first fleets of satellites. But what made that possible was actually access to space. So here's the problem, that in order to take pictures of the entire Earth every day, you're gonna need more than one or two satellites. You're gonna need a whole lot of satellites, and you're gonna need to be able to deploy them really fast. And really, there's only one obvious choice on how to deploy that, and that's the International Space Station. There was no other platform in the world in order to get access to space of, of that fashion in that time period than the International Space Station. NanoRacks is our key partner with NASA. At NanoRacks, we understood Plant Lab's vision, and we knew that we could help. We worked together to figure out what was going to be the best way to get as many satellites as possible, and uh, we basically developed a new platform. It goes out of the gym airlock. It's picked up by a robotic arm, pointed out into space, and it fires these little satellites off of the space station. They were able to secure 28 of our satellites to be launched from the International Space Station, and that was known as Flock One, our first constellation. This opened up the whole world to uh, satellite developers, people that could put things into orbit fast. We now deploy these on a regular basis from the International Space Station, and now today, we were able to operate the largest fleet of Earth imaging satellites in human history. And none of that would have been possible without the International Space Station. The International Space Station does enable young, small companies like ourselves to get going in space. The ISS provides a lot of opportunities for commercial companies to test and find where the market in space is going to be. And so what we're seeing today is a proliferation of new ideas and new concepts. It's almost like it's a renaissance of what's happening in space. Buckle up and strap down because this is going to be a rocket for all of us in the global community to be part of.